This is the sound called by Anchor A20i True Wireless Earbuds. Now we're still on the Soundcore train and we'll be talking about a lot of Soundcore products so this is just another one that is going to join the Soundcore playlist. Uh, some of the specs include customized sound, AI enhanced calls via two mics, tailored experience with the Soundcore app, a 9 hour playtime and that is 28 hours with the charging case and IPX5 waterproof. Something I think I need to say here, uh, when it says IPX5 waterproof, that just means that it will take a sprinkle of water, it can withstand a sprinkle of water, it can withstand some rain, some sweat, but that does not mean you put it on and go swimming. That would destroy the earbuds. Understand that. Does not mean if you go swimming with this, your earbuds are safe. They will not be safe. It can take some sweat, it can take some sprinkle of rain or whatever but don't go swimming with this let's pop this open and let's just see what it looks like on the inside so when you pop it open this is what you get the sound call quick start guide manual you know what to do with this so do it extra ear tips i'm guessing this is um, large and small and this is the usb type c charging cable it's a nice thing that these earbuds all now come with a usb either usb c standard uh, there was a time some are usb c some uh, micro usb it's a whole thing all right this is the A20i True Wireless Earbuds charging case. Very, very simple, ordinary looking. Nothing much. Good plastic, not lightweight plastic. That is good. There isn't much on the case. Uh, no specs underneath here, nothing. Uh, there is though um, a charge indicator right here. And we've got the Soundcore logo on top of it. And behind, We've got the USB-C charging port and we've got this. Cool. Okay, let's open this up and let's see what's in it. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. We've got the oh, good magnets. This is nice though. I like the way it is. I like the way it looks on the inside. All right. Before we go any further, let's do a quick shake test, can we? There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Sorry, let's let's do that again. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> it's in place. That's cool. All right, all right. Let's take it out of the case. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. I get too excited sometimes. <laughs> Is this cool? Ooh, and there's a little. Let's take this out. Let's go. Nice. All right. These are what the earbuds look like. Cool. They look like the inner ear shaped ones and not the, the stem ones. So this is cool. Um, not trying to be picky or anything, but I kind of like the stem ones. But these ones are also great too. They fit, they fit quite right. You just have to get the right um, ear tip for you and it will fit in snugly in your ear. Very cool. I like this. Okay, this is the right one and this is the left. Uh, not really much about it really. It's just got the sound call logo on top of the touch control. And we've got the charge plates at the bottom of it. Now, there's a thing about these charge plates that, you know, kind of gets to me sometimes. But I hope this, this is not one of them. Yes, this is just on top, on, on the surface, so that's cool. Sometimes you get some of these earbuds and the charge plates are like embedded in them. And then you have a problem when you put them back in the charge case that the charge pins tend to miss. And it doesn't touch the, the charge plates right there and then you don't get a charge. And then you're trying to pair it up and it doesn't work. And you complain and talk about, oh, mine is not working, it's not charging. Sometimes it's just the placements of these things. So maybe if you just wiggle it a little bit, it will just fall into place, maybe. Anyways, this is one of those. 
Uh, this is nice, uh, very simple. Uh, I think it will fit. Uh, it's just made like the shape of your inner ear. There's no stems here for anything. So what you would actually do is to make sure you're wearing the right ear tip so that it fits snugly and doesn't fall out of your ear. Cool. All right, let us do a simple um, fit test. Let's see how, how this fits, how comfortable it is when we put it in our ears. Let's go. I think it's I think it's comfortable. It, it is comfortable. Um, it's it's not poking in my ear exactly, but uh, but it is it is in there. The ear tip is the right size for me for my ear, so it, it, it's snug in there. Uh, but I would, I wish it was not so deep in there. But I suppose it might be different for other people. For me, it's a little bit too much inside, so it, it does feel like something is almost close to my eardrums. Yes, but otherwise it is comfortable um it's not gonna fall out of your ear if you're wearing the right size ear tip for you uh, i bet you can run with this i bet you can you know exercise with this if you're wearing the right size ear tip if you're not it will definitely fall out of your ear it will because there's a bit of a weight there's a bit of a weight thing here it feels like most of it is outside your ear most of the weight uh, of the earbud is outside your ear so um it feels a little bit heavy on the outside if you know what i mean feels a little bit heavy on the outside otherwise it's a good fit yeah it's a good fit yeah all right let's let's move on let's move on okay let's pair these and see how is how easy it is to do uh we're gonna do a regular pairing and also we'll use the the do the app thing and see how the app works all right cool let's go on all right, it's time for us to pair the earbuds to my phone and let's see how easy it is to do. Firstly, you know the rule, put the earbuds back in the charge case. Very simple rule. And we shut it. And we go to our, to the Bluetooth settings. First of all, let's just pop this open to see if maybe to connect if we, it will serve, find it if we just open the lid. And that is not working. Oh, no, it's not working. So what we do, we take out the earbuds from the charge case. There we go. And then we scan and let's see. There we go. The sound core A20i. And pairing was just that easy. Very, very easy to do. Not a lot of things. Now, initially, I just popped the lid to see if maybe just opening the lid is enough to to for the Bluetooth to find the earbuds, but it's not. So what you have to do is to take out the earbuds from the case and it will find it. And then you can just pair easy. All right, what we're going to do next, we're going to go into the app and see how the app works. All right, uh, let's try the app and see how it works. I'm just gonna pull it up because I use a lot of sound core products anyways. So first of all, we are going to see, can see it just finds it right there. And there we connect, very easy. And now it's 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 open, it's connected right there on the app. First of all, let's see if we need to do any kind of a firmware update or anything like that. Uh, no, we don't, let's go back. And here, let's look at the equalizer settings. So we've got, first of all, the base up option is just to increase the base if you want to or not, your, op your, your, your choice. And now we've got 22 equalizer settings that usually come and unfortunately we do not have the option of creating our own uh, our own equalizer settings i think that it's that is unfortunate that is the downside to this they've made some presets already that they want you to accept and choose from those 22 options now on a regular now normally you would probably find a sound that you prefer but i think most people want to create their own stuff, right? That is the whole purpose of having the app. Create your own stuff, your own options. Anyways, let's move on from that. We've got the controls here and left and right, you set the controls the way you want it to be. Let me just see if we have the option of setting the volume. Oh, nice. We have the option of setting the volume control on this, so you can choose any option to set a volume control. Uh, if you know this channel, you watch this channel, you know how I feel about earbuds that do not have the option of volume controls. I think for me it's a deal breaker. I don't like that. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. 
Uh, we're gonna find my device here. That is for one of those people that you know you misplace your earbuds and you don't know how to, you can't find them. Maybe they are stuck in between your cushions, in your, your 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 lounge or something. That will help you look for it. Now we have the game mode here, and this is for you to use it. This is an option for you when you are gaming with the earbuds. You know how the latency issues for the gamers out there. You know what I'm talking about. All right, we've got the gaming option here. All right, um, not much to the ear, to, to the con, to the not much to the to the. Excuse me, uh, not much. To, to the app um, it doesn't give you the option for you to set up your own equalizer settings I think that is the downside but everything else is cool you've got the option for your controls and all that stuff um, it's not much but yeah could be better but, but okay I guess would we'll accept what was given yes yeah all right I'm gonna play some music right now and I'm gonna listen to something and then I wanna see what the sound comes. First of all, I'm gonna listen to it as is and then I'll listen with some of the options, the preset options, and maybe I'll tell you which one is my favorite. And yeah, I'll tell you what it sounds like. Let's go. A few minutes later. <laughs> uh, all right. Now, if you watch my videos, you know, the, the some of the earbuds I use that I find that I like, you hear me say something like, uh, this is one of the best sound for, for that brand or whatever. So I'm going to say it again here. I think this is the best sound I've heard from a sound core uh, earbud so far. Now, I know I've said that a lot about a lot of, a lot of other sound core products, but I'm telling you, this one so far that I've listened to, this is the best sounding sound core earbuds that I've listened to. Wow. Well, I suppose they keep up in the ante. I don't know, but this one is whoo, very good sound. Very good sound. Now, first of all, very clear, very breezy, very crisp. No noise. It's not noisy. It is. It is very wow. It is. It is really, really good. Very good sound proper separation of sound you can hear everything differently all you need to do is just pay attention the bass is not too much it is not it is not overwhelming at the same time it's not underwhelming but if you want extra bass the bass up option for you is whoa you feel it like it is it is amazing wow the sound from this is very very good if i were to if i were to to rate this out of 10 i'll give it a 9.5 this sound here is very good and i'm telling you wow wow i'm very impressed by this for the sound as sound as far as sound goes i'm very impressed by this now the 22 options you have there for preset options you already have there i'm sure you find something you like i like the acoustic sound it is very very me i like that uh, i'm sure you find something you want i still think it's a downside to the app that you cannot make your own you can create your own equalizer settings but hey like i said you've got the options there 22 of them i'm sure you find something that is close to what you want if not exactly what you want but like i said i prefer the acoustic the acoustic sound for me i like that but the sound from this even without the other equalizer settings if you just use just the bass up option my god this is good sound very good sound this is a flagship sound i'm telling you this is a flagship sound I am very impressed by the A20i sound wise. Uh, I don't know what it will be like if I use it for an extended period of time, but I'm telling you just what I've tested right now. It is amazing. Amazing. Wow. Anyways, I'm going to use it for a while, see what it's like, and I'll come back and I'll let you know what I think. All right? Cool. Wow. All right. After using this for a few days, these are my observations. Now, uh, connectivity is 10 meters, anything past 10 meters, and then it starts dropping off. Uh, battery power lasted for eight hours, not nine hours. Uh, not even up, up to eight hours, about seven and a half hours or so, thereabout, for battery power for a single charge. But you do get 28 hours from the charge case. So in all, you get 28 hours in all, uh, yes. Uh, call quality is really good. It's clear. You can hear them. They would hear you. If you're using the right ear tip, 
it kind of reduces the amount of noise that comes in when you're making a phone call. As a matter of fact, here's what it sounds like. How's it, TOB family? This is a sound test of the Soundcore A20i through wireless earbuds. If you hear my voice right now, this is exactly how you, how you sound when you're on the phone. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Let's continue. Right. Now, let's talk latency. Uh, if you're a gamer and you're using this for gaming on your phone or whatever, there is a bit of a delay. It's about two seconds or so, very, very little, but there is a bit of a delay, unfortunately. Um, uh, as for sound quality, it is, it is superb. Like I said, this is one of the best sounding, if not the best sounding uh, sound core product that I've used so far. Now there might be other be good, better ones, but so far that I've used, this is the best sounding one. The sound quality is great. Um, I know with the app you cannot make your own equalizer settings, but I, I think with what they have there, I think you'll find something you'd like. I already am used to the base up option and the acoustic option, so I love those two. So there might be other options you might want to use, but so far, very, very good sound. Thank you for watching the video up till the end. Don't forget to like and share. If this is your first time here, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll be notified when we put out a new video. If there's something you'd like to see on this channel, leave it in the comment section or send me an email. For more videos like this, check out this one here, that one there, or check out our playlist. Until next time, take care.